Great. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Andrew Bourne, and uh, yes, I am the um, the manager for the African region for Zoho. Um, this morning, let me just get to the slides. Okay. All right. So before I start my presentation, I'd like to just uh, you know. Um, Re kind of, we've launched the, the African pricing for Zoho, and um, these are the, the RAND pricings for Zoho One, which is our package deal. Um, so you'll see for all employee pricing, it's 450 RAND XVAT, and that's if you're billed annually. Um, and then it's the flexible user pricing is 1,125 RAND, and that's also, it's all excluding VAT. And if you are paying monthly, then those will be the prices. So 525 Rand per employee for more than 50 business applications is an incredible deal. You can literally run your whole entire business on, on these apps. All right, so moving on. This morning, I'll be speaking about creating a lead management process with Zoho CRM. Okay, first I'd like to just go through a few features or things that I love about Zoho CRM. Most importantly, it has an incredible desktop and a mobile application. Um, and um, I'll go through some of the mobile application um, features now. All right, you're able to log your phone calls directly from the mobile app, which is great. Um, after you make a phone call or receive a phone call, um, it'll prompt you to um, log the call. You can save the information about the call. It's quick and it's easy. Um, you're also able to check in on your mobile app. So if you have an event in your mobile app, um, you're able to click on that event and then there's a little icon that looks like a teardrop. Um, and if you click on that, it will then log your location. So it's also good for maybe managers or owners to make sure that their staff um, get to a delivery on time, it will log the time and the location and save it as a note. And I will show you that in the CRM when I do the live demo. All right, voice notes. You're able to also then record a voice note in your um, mobile app on the CRM. And you're also able to convert that voice note to text. And I did a demo, um, I've done many demos of it and it works incredibly well. Um, so you record the, the voice note and then it prompts you, you can say convert to, to text and it will convert to text and you're able to edit that note and then save it as a text note. All right, the mobile card scanner. So Zoho has also built a business card scanner which you can get on the mobile uh, app store and um, you literally just scan a business card, it will pick up the information, it will show it to you and then you're able to uh, sync that with your Zoho CRM which is another very powerful tool. All right, Canvas view. I'm very excited about this view. Um, it really, really does help um, just making the, the user interface look really, really good for the, for the users. So you're able to, on the top right, click and edit your Canvas view. So you can make it look and feel exactly how you need it to feel um, in CRM. All right, so this morning in the live demo, I'm gonna take you through the, the CRM flow, where the lead starts and, and how it goes through the through the CRM. So first of all, we'll have the forms and you can generate your leads uh, in various ways. We've got web forms, which is part of the CRM. We've got Zoho forms, which is a, an app that you can integrate into the CRM. We've also got live chat with Zoho Sales IQ, which you can also then generate your leads and have them directly integrate into the leads module into the CRM. And then a lead will sit there until you have contacted them, until you know you're gonna do business with that lead. Um, and once you've, you know, once you've confirmed that you then convert that lead and that lead will be then split up into a contact that will split up the, the, the business information, the customer information into accounts, and then it will then create a deal um, you'll have to click to create the deal, but once you've created that deal, all your business activity will then sit in that deal. And that deal will start from qualification of your client all the way through to invoicing and um, you know, uh, pushing that deal to the one, uh, one stage. And um, I will just, let's move on and we'll go through to the, to the live demo. Let me just check the chats to see, is everyone happy? Um, 
My colleagues will help with the questions. All right, let's go through to the live demo. I'm quickly just going to share my screen with you. Let me know if you're able to see my screen. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we are in the home page of Zoho CRM. Now, what we'll do is I'm just going to quickly show you how the leads are generated. So, as I said, the one way of doing it, you can have a live chat on your website using Zoho Sales IQ. Um, let me quickly show you the website. So, once the website then loads, You'll have a little chat at the bottom right, and then the person can come in and they can actually start a chat and they can choose a department, they can choose the sales department, they can start a chat, and that chat will then sit here in your uh, sales IQ. Once this person has been have put the information in, you'll be able to then actually go into the CRM by clicking this little square with an arrow here, and it'll actually open up that contact in the CRM. Okay, James Bond at the moment, he's a contact because he has been pushed through the lead generation process. So I'm going to quickly take you back a step and we're going to go to the leads module. So here we've got John Wick who's come in off a order form. So we've got the lead source over there. Now this is your canvas view. Um, on the left hand side, you've got your filters where you can filter information. Uh, you can also hide that so that you've got uh, more visibility um, the other views you've got is if you've got your normal standard view where it's more like a spreadsheet view and you can have all your information. Then we've also got the Kanban view where you can actually drag and you can move your leads to the various status stages in the, um, in the, in the leads module. Okay. Quickly go back to the Canvas view. All right. So let's also just uh, let you know about territories. You can also then have territories in the CRM. And so let's just select Zoho Africa, and it's going to show us all the leads that have been ass um, assigned to Zoho Africa territory. And then you've also got custom views where you can say all leads, or you can say my leads, and those will be all the leads that have been assigned to you um, as a user. All right, let's go into John Wick's um, record information. So in the information, you will find the, um, the related list on the left hand side. Over here, you can have everything from your, when you click on it, it will take you down to the notes section. And over here, you can see this is where I tested out the check in um, um, uh, feature on the mobile app. So let's say John Wick wanted a delivery and um, we created an event on the activities here, the delivery event. If you click into that delivery event, I was able to check in to that, to that delivery. And then in the notes, it logged the location of that check-in. So that's also a really great feature. Okay, and now we're back in the leads record information. You can... Uh, have attachments. So over here, it will be the order form that he filled out, which will show me everything that he ordered. And it's always great to have that, that information and various other information will be in your related list. And you can also stack that away so that you have a, a nice better view of all the information. And here you've got your mobile information, your email address, and it's very simple and easy. If you want to send an email, you quickly send, send email, you can use the templates, you can make your own templates. So thank you for contact. And you can make a nice little template email that goes straight off to John Wick, just like that and it's sent. Those emails will be shown in the related list over here. So you'll see here the emails were sent. So it's a really, really, really good um, system. We've got lots of information in one place. Okay, let's move on to the um, oh, one more thing. There's also buttons you can you can um, create. So there's a button that we've you create the buttons. I'm going to create button here, and then the buttons will show up over here. And I've just made a quick and easy LinkedIn search button. And what it does is it takes your leads name and it puts it into a LinkedIn search. 
So you can quickly do a LinkedIn search. You can do that with Google um, search as well. Uh, so that buttons are really, really nice little tools to have. All right, let's move on swiftly to the contacts module. So this was the previous lead that came in through the web page, uh, through the live chat. Um, here again, you've got your filtered information on the list on the on the left. You can filter, and then you've got your custom view and your territories. And so we converted James to a contact. Um, and let me quickly show you how that works. Quickly, go back to the leads module. If John Wick comes in as a lead to convert him. You either click convert at the top and you can then create a deal and you can fill in some extra information um, or you can do it by the status. So if you change the status to pre-qualified and you save that, it'll automatically, it'll automatically move John Wick through to a contact and a deal. So we can go through to the contact and the deal and it will have all the information that's been passed through. Um, so if we go back to our contacts, you'll see there's James Bond and then John Wick will be also there. And if you want to assign John to a territory, we'll click assign. We can assign him to that African territory. Okay, then John, we'll just go through to the deals. So you'll see it's also created a deal for John Wick. Uh, and we've put him at needs analysis. And we can move John then down the stage timeline to value proposition, to quotation sent. When you want to do a quotation, you just go to your related list. You can click plus. You can fill in all your quotation information and you can send it off to the customer. You can also add products that they might be interested in on the left-hand side. Um, and you can move them through slowly through until you close the deal and then you can put in the amount that you close it at. It will be one. Okay, so that's all the information of how you kind of get them through to the closing the deal. Then we've also got our, and our, our, our homepage where you can have different widgets. So you can see what the revenue target is. You can set targets for staff. You can see where the opportunity different stages are at. There's a lot of information here. And then you've also got your analytics, analytics module you can do even more detailed analytics uh, of information in your CRM. You have your lead, lead ad analytics over here. Okay, so I think I have covered most things with the lead. Um, we will do another seminar on more detailed um, leads. Um, and then one other thing that I can show you is when that lead um, is generated, it will then trigger a chat so you can have a chat in Zoho Click. So if you integrate Zoho Click with CRM, you'll see it'll send a message to say lead converted and it'll tell you when there was a lead created, which is really, really um, good if you've got teams and you can have your, you know, your sales team in one place and they can all see when the leads are coming in. All right. All right, next up, I've got some polls. Let me just check. Okay, if there's any chats that I need to take care of. Um, let's get the poll started. All right. Which stage are you in your lead management journey? If you could all please just um, put in your votes so that we can see. We've got here, we have fully automated process. There is scope for improvement in our current process. And we've also got, we are yet to set up a process. Okay, I see quite a few have yet to set up a process. Well, Zoho can definitely help you with that uh, and make it really, really efficient um, and, and easy to manage all your leads and to convert more business. Okay, 35 people have answered so far. I'm going to show the results to you. It will, it will update 
as, uh, as more people fill in. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next poll. Okay, which tool are you currently using to manage your sales process and your, your, lead, um, your lead conversion? I'm going to show the results to everyone so they can all see. So most of everyone there with Zoho CRM, we've also got Salesforce, HubSpot, Microsoft Dynamics, Pipedrive, any other CRM tools that you're using. Uh, and then there's a few that aren't using a CRM tool yet. Well, I can tell you now Zoho is definitely the best option for you. But uh, I always say to everyone, explore all your options. Um, just make sure there's no uh, smoke and mirrors or any hidden hidden costs. Um, but definitely do a trial and test out the systems uh, before making a, a purchase. All right. The results have been shown. Let's move on to the next slide. If you have any questions, any product related questions, you're welcome to put them in the questions panel on the left hand side. Okay, I see someone's asking here about the CRM, not seeing most of the features demonstrated. Um, it's definitely in, in Zoho CRM. Um, you might want to check what version you have. Um, I mean, uh, we've used this in South African companies for the last two and a half years. Uh, and I can tell you now when I last saw their system, it definitely has those features. But you're welcome to email me or email the team. That's from Eugene. Okay. 